Hey guys, gals, and all pals. So, today I want to talk about a new YouTube policy that, you know, just came out. Well, it's kind of like a, a hidden one. Because it hasn't been, like, officially, like, um, announced by YouTube themselves. And you guys, um, are probably wondering why I'm covering this. Well, first off, it's, um, it could affect me, it could affect you, or, you know, if you're a content creator. It could affect your favorite content creators. Pretty much it could affect anyone, pretty much. And, you know, I kind of like, um covering stuff like this um, with you know Gmod in the background so I want to start talking about it now so the first victim of this um, well only known victim so far of this uh, new policy is someone by the name of like Cobra or something like that and Basically, what um, the new policy entails is like, you know, well, first there's some background to this whole thing. Okay, so previously, you know, when you first break the rules on YouTube, you got a warning. That warning won't, literally won't do anything. Like, it's pretty much just like um, saying, like, hey, you broke the rules. Try not to do it again. Like, then after that you get your first strike, which is like, you know, you get like some type of penalty out of that. Then you know, second strike. And then you know, after your third strike, you're pretty much just like off the platform after that. But this, but this new policy, you know, that warning could pressure now result in you know you're getting demonetized like you know um uh you won't be able to make money off youtube um after you know getting this first warning and you know here is here's my thoughts on this whole thing you know what's the point of having a three strikes you're out type system if you know the first warning you get is like an automatic like demonetization um against you pretty much like the that kind of defeats the purpose like because you know for a lot of people and i'm not saying all people because you know everybody's different when they join youtube um you know each one has their own different goals um you know if your goal is monetization like and you know you get a warning and then you're demonetized like you know, at that point you're like okay well it's you know um what's the worst that can happen after that pretty much other than just getting like out all right like banned from the platform because i mean at that point what you could do is like oh make make like a patreon or a subscribe star or something or you know just uh get donations off another platform or something but um you know um that might not always work though and you know a lot <clears throat> a lot of people depend on this platform for a living actually so you know if they get warned um you know they lose the ability to make money off this platform off um, YouTube or whatever else, you know, that obviously impacts them in a significant way. And, you know, I know some of you watching this might be like, oh, well, why can't they just get a job or something like that? Well, here's the thing about that. Like, you know, that's, that might be an, um, a reason why they depend on YouTube is because they can't get a job for whatever reason. Or getting a job might be more difficult because of the pandemic. Because, you know, a lot of people get, got laid off, you know, when the pandemic um, started coming around. Like, um, you know, unemployment was certainly an issue with the pandemic. 
and you know um that's the same thing i said when um you know i was talking about the whole um you know hot tub meadow like you know people got fired from their jobs you know the pandemic um, really started kicking in and um they started saying hey you know i can't make money from my job because i don't have a job anymore maybe i should give content creation a try now of course you know i'm in a, I'm in a good position because you know i have a job at walmart but you know i can't say the same for everyone else because you know like um you know everyone's everyone's situation is different And you know, here, here's another issue I have with this whole thing. Well, actually, there's two. There's two things I have. Uh, two issues I have with this whole thing. And you know, um, the the whole way I was, uh, the, well, geez, I don't know what, what to say there, but um, how I, now this was brought to my attention is you know through a, another YouTuber named Tipster. Now he didn't bring this whole thing up, but um, this whole thing I'm about to bring up, but um. You know, what about people who, like, go out of their way to abuse the system, like, just to silence other creators? You know, because I know that there is a bunch of people, you know, especially larger creators, you know, who get, like, a bunch of trolls and stuff like that who submit fake copyright strikes and, you know, community guideline strikes against creators to, to mess with them or just to get them off the platform or whatever, um... Yeah, that that could just mean like they're gonna get um they're gonna get um demonetized even faster if if YouTube doesn't handle this the right way. Another thing is you know YouTube's bots like you know um because YouTube's bots can you know be pretty inaccurate sometimes when it comes to you know determining whether something breaks rules or not. And you know what, I mean, I've never gotten a warning before, but, um, you know, from what Tipster said, you know, it can't be, like, a warning once you get it, it can't be, like, overturned or something like that. Oh, wait, no, never mind, um, well, I think, actually, I think demonetization can't be, um, overturned in this warning system, apparently. Like, um, but you know, the person who got affected by this, his monetization got restored because YouTube re realized it was an error on their part, but, you know, it might not always be that way for creators. Like, people might not always be so lucky with that sort of thing. Yeah, sorry, all my words all mixed up there for a second, but yeah, from my understanding from Tipster's video, you know, it seems that um, with the warning, once you get a warning and you happen to get demonetized, you can't like overturn it. It seems like you can't like submit like a appeal or something like that, or like, try and reply for monetization. That's what I meant. Uh, sorry, I got my words all mixed up with um, that first one, but. So at that point, you know, you're pretty much screwed. Like, you don't really have many options. Like, again, you could always try and create a Patreon or, you know, maybe try something like OnlyFans or um, Subscribestar or something, but. You know, even then, that's not 100% guaranteed because, you know, not a lot of people are willing to go out of their way to create a Patreon account just to financially support another creator, pretty much. I mean, not, I mean of course, you know, again, everyone's situation is different, you know. For all I know, pe most people watching this could have a huge fan base and, you know, could have a whole lot of people that are willing to go out of their way to do that. But, you know, not everyone's like that, though. And, you know, a lot of people, um, well, may not a lot, but, you know, some people on YouTube, um, you know, maybe might not get affected by this completely. Like, you know, like if they get demonetized, you know, they might have, um, 
enough um, money to not really have to worry about this sort of thing. But um, you know, the, well, my point is, you know, just um, this is kind of like a heads up about that policy. You know, it's an unfortunate thing that YouTube's doing. Um, you know, at that, I mean, at this point, they should really just get rid of the whole three strike, three strikes and you're out sort of thing. Like, um, because you're getting punished for essentially getting a warning now. Like, and that just makes absolutely no sense. So yeah, and so now it's going um, warning, demonetization, um, you know, uh, strike. Um, I don't know what the first strike is. I think it's like maybe a week ban or something. Like, well, I mean, like a week you're off the platform. You can't like upload anything or something like that. I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but I never gotten banned before, so I don't. I never got a strike, so I don't know what the whole system there is, but. Um, yeah, and then there's a second strike, and then third strike, you're off the platform completely. That's at least what it seems like um, to me, so. Well, judging by what Tipster's video was um, saying, so. Yeah, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and uh, peace.